Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm your host, the Poke Gamer, and in the last episode we started our little adventure here through the Unova region, and we kind of ran into the evil bad guys of this generation, Team Plasma. We also learned that the Pokemon and the Pokemon Center are now both conjoined. I guess this is a, I guess an appropriate way to put that. Um, I also did mention in the last episode I was going to reset to, um, well not reset, but like, you know, soft reset and, you know, whatever to get a better nature that I wanted. And um, I wanted to use a naive nature throughout this let's play, so I ended up getting a naive nature. Um, so, I mean, we'll have that for this. Um, everything else was obviously done exactly the same as it was on screen, so there's nothing different. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, she kind of just plays a little game with you to tell you what things are weak to what, at least out of the first, you know, starters and whatnot. Um, we already talked to everyone here. So, this house. Um, and I think that our first team member that we're going to be getting, um, is after the first gym. So, I mean, we'll, we have a little ways before we actually get our next team member, but I mean... Whatever. Um, and at least with, you know, sped up shit, thanks to the emulator, I mean, things will move a little bit, you know, I guess more swiftly, is, you know. If you're one of those types, uh, this house, I forgot about this. This is uh, like a musical house. I can't remember if they play, yeah, I think they play music for you or whatever. Yeah, like on top of um, the music that you already, you know, here. See? Like, you can kind of hear that there's extra music now over top of it. And it remains after you go outside. So, which is kind of, it's kind of cool. Um, so, I mean, it's, I kind of, I'm sur kind of surprised they didn't, you know, keep it implemented like that rather than, you know, but, I mean, it's whatever. Um, I guess we didn't talk to that one person, even though there's, like, nothing relevant to be said, so... Um, cool thing about these games, and, well, just Generation 5 and on, I think, I'm not sure, I don't think X and Y had something like this, actually, um, but in Black and White and in Black and White 2, whenever you go into one of these areas, there is this little area here, you can click this, it'll show you a little, you know, flashing whatever thing, just like cities or random images, but above that there will be a little thing that says kind of like the weather or whatever, something about, you know, where you're going, stuff like that. Um, in the post game, um, whenever you beat the game, and I think you may even need the national decks for it, um, it tells you about swarms that you can kind of go and get some interesting Pokemon. Um, now, everything that we kind of did in the last episode, if you don't want to, like, you know, talk to all the NPCs and just want to get through with everything as fast as possible, I do recommend you come here as fast as you possibly can because you get the running shoes. So, I mean, kind of recommend that you do get them. Um, one of the things I don't like is that they didn't re-implement what they did in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, where there was an immediate way to make sure that you could just keep the running shoes on and not have to worry about walking and then running and then walking and then running. Um, kind of stupid, but, um, whatever. At least you can move a lot faster this way. And random encounter. And it's a really high level, or really high level lily bot. Um, I am gonna kill it, because we do need experience for this first gym. And again, there's also gym, or yeah, gym. Trainers, you know, along the way. Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of messing up some things, and I really feel like I shouldn't be, but I mean, uh, maybe I didn't get enough sleep. That, well, yeah, that could be kind of part of it. Um, I was up really late yesterday, and uh, I'm not sure if I got enough sleep to kind of justify the amount of, you know, like it's kind of, I didn't balance my sleep with the amount of, you know, tired that I was, because, like, I was up, I think... Not, not 24 hours, but quite a while. Because, like, the way it was, I think, on Monday, I went to bed, I think, around noonish, maybe 1 o'clock. And last night I went to bed around, I think, like, 7 or 8. So I was up quite a few extra hours since, you know, the day before. So, I mean. And yeah, he's just going to show you that you can do something, which is jumping over a ledge. Woohoo, you can jump over ledges. 
Like you can do that since generation one. But whatever. Perline. Perline was one of my favorite new or yeah, new Pokemon that were added into generation five. Um I mean, it, it's kind of got a little cute design to it. It also looks like it's kind of, um, how, how do I put it, a trickster, I guess. Um, and I kind of, I guess I could have said prankster, but I mean, that would have been a very bad pun, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, we all know what its hidden ability is, prankster, but, I mean... But it just looks like it would be some, like, the kind of... Like, the way it's designed, it looks like it's that kind of Pokemon that would just, you know, toy around with people and try and, you know, get a good laugh out of everything it does, which is why I felt like the word trickster was more appropriate. Um, but yeah. And I believe he's, like, one of the last, like, trainers in this area. I think, well, okay, he, I think he is the last trainer in this route. Um, down here, as you saw in, you know, what's it called town, um, there were a few items on a ledge, which is another cool part. You were able to see out onto a route without even being on the route. And I was actually wrong. There is another trainer battle here. Um, yeah, remember how we battle our rivals a million times? Yeah. Either way, getting Oshawa to level 10 is very, very ideal. Um, prefer or preferably higher than that, actually. Um, but... I mean, but I did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Then again, she's using a level 6 Lillipop, so... And the cool part is she has a Tepig, so it's free experience. And GG. And with that, we now get into Striden City, which, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, this here is the gym, but the gym leaders are, I guess, I think that the way he puts it is they're not in or something. And um, the reason for this is because there's something that you have to go and do. But there's something that we need to do before we do much of anything else. But on top of that, we kind of have to talk to the NPCs in this town as well. I don't want to talk to you again. I hate whenever I talk to NPCs more than once. Oh, there's an item over there. We can get that, but, you know. Anyways, time to talk to a whole bunch of NPCs. I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can because I kind of want to, you know, get as much as I can done. Um, nothing else upstairs except for a few Pokemon NPCs, but... I don't think there's an entryway to there, or on that side even. Um, X speed, I guess it's useful if you really want to, you know, go and get that. Go into. Why is it? What is it with Pokemon games that you like? You, if you're moving around too much and you just like walk into a wall instead, like, is it really that hard to control your character? Like, look at that, it's retarded. <laughs> But, um, no, it's still just kind of weird that a lot of them stop talking to NPCs twice. It's annoying. And a waste of time. Anyways, um, yes, can we stop walking into that? Thank you. And, yeah. We will have to come back into that area shortly but there's something more important that we want to go and do um which is you know just up there we just kind of you know need to do whatever um i also do recommend that you go and talk to this npc that's an extremely good pokeball to get this early in the game so now i know there are other areas there that we need to um kind of talk to there's the one uh, building next to the pokemon center as well as you know like a few other things that we have to do but um you kind of want to come out here because there's something you're really going to want um 
and I'll explain why when we get around to it, of course. But, um, yeah. I probably should have healed with the Pokemon Center. How many water guns do I have left? I'm gonna start tackling here. Nice crit. this trainer. And then I think after this we can get what we came out here for. And yes, we'll have to revisit this area as well, but um, it's not going to be that big of a problem. Whatever, just die please. And that pet right dies. Whee! Okay, not wasting any more water guns. Just tackle this thing, please. Okay, it did more than half. That, that's good. Okay. Now there's a few items over here. I think. I'm not sure if there's a hidden item or not. I, there might be. I'm just, you know. Anyways, um. She asks where our first Pokemon was, and s since we got Oshawott, she says, and Panseer could be a big help. And she mentions that we also do not do well against grass types, so do we want a Panseer? This is not going to be a permanent team member, but it is going to be very useful, and I do recommend that anyone who's playing black and white get this, because you will need it. Um, also, I kind of feel like I should show it um, for anyone that doesn't know, um, you know, a pants here. Um, cool thing here is I did get a decent nature for it, but um, I don't plan on actually using it. So, anyways, what we're going to want to do is heal because, you know, we're going to be doing a Pokemon battle, I think, in the next few seconds, if I remember correctly. Again, I, I actually have... It's not accurate to say I haven't played this game in a while, it's just I haven't, like, redone the storyline in a while. Um, I personally use my white version to do RNG abuse, uh, you know, uh, wait, hang on a second. Did I talk to you? Anyway, I'm gonna go out here really quick because I want to talk to this guy and, like, the other NPC that's out here really quick. Because I don't want to have to do this, you know, again. Yeah, you ain't running past me now. I think these are the only NPCs that we can reach at the moment, because he's all the way over there. And I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's nothing else there. Okay. Up here and back into this building. We go. Okay. Um, talk to this guy, please. And this guy. And as you'll notice, Sharon's here kind of see where we're getting at here, why I said I think there might be another battle. Um, sure. I wonder which one wakes it up. I guess it's kind of a good item to get for free. I mean, whatever. Alright. Um, I... Do you believe he leads with his starter? So what we're gonna do is this. And so, rival battle number two. I think the difference between Bianca and him is that he leads with Snivy, aka he leads with his starter, which is supposed to be super effective against you, and he also happens to have a super effective move against you, so... In our case, the Snivy has Vine Whip. I could have swore we just... Oh no, we burned off the berry. Okay, that's right. I keep forgetting that's what Incinerate actually does. Um, which also is a pain in the ass if he actually gets to use it. So, I mean... Alrighty then. Scratch... And Snivy dies. 
I kind of want to leave Pantsir in just because, um, experience purposes. I'm probably going to level it up a few times off screen as well, just because I think we're going to really need the levels. Um, you know. Not like it's a huge deal or anything, but I mean. I think that's actually kind of cool that Assist can do that though. Uh, his only other Pokemon is dead. And. yeah. It's kind of sad that the Pantsir is not a special attacking nature just because I only need Incinerate and it's going to get reduced because of the Jelly nature. That's part of the reason why I'm probably going to level it up off screen. But. As you'll probably notice, there is now someone new outside, and we'll get to that in the next episode. Um, so like I said, off screen I will be doing a bit of training for the um, the Pantsir, and I might even level up my Oshawott once more, maybe just to have extra insurance. Um, but yeah, we'll be getting into the gym as of the next episode, and... Um, yeah, that'll be something that we get to look forward to. So, until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing out.